Hi everyone, Chef Petey, back with another recipe I know you absolutely love, pineapple buns. It's one of my favorite snacks growing up. Now the name is deceiving because pineapple is not used. Uh, the name comes from the pineapple appearance on the crust of the bun. It's fluffy on the inside, but has a sweet buttery crust. Okay, if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at what we need for the recipe. Uh, there are basically three parts to the recipe. You got the water roux, you got the dough, and then you have the crust. So for the ingredient for the roux, you basically need three tablespoons of bread flour and three quarter cups of water. Uh, for the dough, three cups of bread flour, six tablespoons sugar, half a teaspoon salt, one and a half tablespoon instant yeast, uh, three quarter cup uh, milk uh, and room temperature, one large egg room temperature, and of course we're going to use that water rule as we make the dough. Uh, I, uh, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, softened. And for the topping, one and one third cup cake flour, half a cup of sugar, five tablespoons butter, softened, one egg yolk, one tablespoon milk, a quarter teaspoon baking soda, quarter teaspoon baking powder, and then one egg yolk for the topping. Okay, let's uh, get going with the water roux. Okay, to make the water roux, we'll just heat up the water here, and we're gonna put the flour in. And then you're gonna turn it to medium, medium high, and just constantly stir until uh, it gets thick. That's it. And uh, so put it in a bowl, and then we're gonna put it in a refrigerator. You're gonna cover it with plastic, so it doesn't dry out. We're gonna refrigerate it. Okay, I got my trusty KitchenAid mixer here. Uh, if you do it by hand, uh, more power to you. I just don't want to. I don't want to work out right now. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the wet flour in, sugar, salt, and yeast. Okay, add milk. egg and the water roux that we uh, cooked earlier it's cool now put that in you just put it on low for maybe about two minutes about two minutes. Now we're gonna add the uh, softened butter and we're gonna put it to medium. We're gonna mix it for about five minutes. Okay at this point we just want to take a look to see if the dough is if uh, see if the dough is too uh, too sticky. If, you, if it's too sticky, you just add a little bit more um, flour to it, but it's not too bad. It's a little bit sticky, so we'll add a little bit.
it's still a little bit sticky. I'm gonna put more, a little bit more flour in here. It's gonna need it until it's smooth. I'm gonna put it in a, a well-greased bowl. You're gonna cover it for an hour, okay? And then uh, we'll let it rest. It, it should double in size. Okay, put it in a warm spot, maybe put it in the oven, 80 to 85 degrees uh, Fahrenheit uh, for one hour, okay? We'll come back. Okay, now while we're waiting for the uh, dough to rise, we're gonna uh, make the topping at this time. You're gonna put the butter in. You're gonna add the sugar. And you're just gonna mix it. Okay. So it should look something like this. Now we're just gonna roll it into a log. Now you're going to wrap it up and you're going to refrigerate until we're ready to use. Okay, we let it rest for an hour now and we'll pull it out. I'm just going to knead it a little bit more here. I'm going to divide it. We can either make them real big uh, into nine pieces or we can make them smaller. I think I'll make them smaller. Now, each one of these, you're just gonna fold in, fold in. Just continue to knead it. And if it's a little too sticky, you can use a little flour. Just make it into a little ball. And then uh, on the cookie sheet, I have uh, parchment paper. Just gonna put it on here. Just make it as round as possible.
Okay, I have 21 buns here. Now we're gonna put that in the oven, uh, leave it off, let it rise for another 40 minutes. All right, we just pulled these out of the oven. So it's been 40 minutes and it actually got bigger, as you can see. Okay, and then we got the uh, the dough for the for the topping out. I rolled it out to about I say ten and a half inches, and uh, so we need twenty one. So we'll go about half inch. Now we'll just get pick it round. I'm gonna roll it out. Just lay it on top. Okay, now to create the uh, pineapple look, you basically gonna run something that's uh, that's got fairly sharp edge and just roll. And the final thing that we gotta do before we put it in the oven is uh, take the egg yolk and you're gonna brush it on. Okay, now we're gonna stick it in the oven for 14 to 15 minutes. Again, 360 to about 375. Okay, just got these out. Uh, we had to do an extra four minutes. So total is uh, 19 minutes because our oven is not as hot as it should be. So um, we're gonna let this cool and then we'll do a taste test. Okay, let's check this out. Grab a couple. Okay, 
Inside it's nice and fluffy. And then outside it's got a little bit of crust to it. Mmm. So good. very buttery and it's not overly sweet it's just um just right mm. i hope you get a chance to try it and i'll see you on the next video bye great so a bunch of viewers are interested in buying these black t-shirts dragon house t-shirts so if you're interested uh please email me at this address down here, right there, and uh, let me know what size and quantity you want, and then uh, we'll try to get some and uh, get them out to you.